in this example, ladies and gentlemen, um, the directions are asking us either to expand or condense. And what we have in this case is we have a logarithm that is written as one single log. So what we're going to want to do is expand this out to using multiple logarithms. So there's a couple of the rules that we talked about as far as expanding and condensing. So I'll just have log base x of mn is equal to log base x of m plus log base x of n. Right? If you have log base x of m divided by n, that's equal to log base x of m minus log base x of n. And then if you had um, m times log base x of n, that's equal to log base x of n raised to the m. OK? So those are kind of our three properties that we are going to use to apply to break this up. So immediately what I see here is I see this division symbol. I know that I can break this up into log base 5 of x squared minus log base 5 of y squared times z cubed. All right. Now, here's where a lot of students made their small little mistake. Notice how this is this minus this. All right. Now, there's a couple different ways you guys could do this. But we know this, that now this is a product. So I can separate that into addition, right? So I could say log base 5 of x squared minus log base 5 of y squared plus log base 5 of z cubed. But notice if now I'm only subtracting the log base 5 of y squared, right? So there's a couple ways you could do this. You either need to apply distributive property, or what you need to do is put parentheses around this. Because what you're doing is you're subtracting this whole expression. So you need to make sure you include brackets or parentheses in there. Because you're subtracting this whole product. Does everybody see that? Yes? No? OK. Then you can, you can apply distributive property if you like to, and then take each one of these exponents and bring them down front. So your final answer could have been log base 5 of x minus log base oh, I'm sorry, of 2 log base 5 of y um, minus 3 log base 5 of z. See, what I did is I applied the distributive property to both of my logarithms because you're subtracting both of them. So your final answer when you bring down the exponent is 2 log base 5 of x minus 2 log, two log base 5 of y minus 3 log base 5 of z. OK? Perfect. Anybody have any questions on that?